Hello there, Jose Rodriguez here again. The subject of this video is how to rear load photographic paper onto a printer such as the Pro 3800 or a Pro 3880. Lately there seems to have been a lot of questions being asked about how to do this properly so that you get a consistent acceptance of the material being loaded from the rear. This will actually cause problems sometimes when using media such as canvas even though the 3800 and 3880 claims to be able to handle canvas as well as many other types of media sometimes if you don't get it just right it will just reject it so just so you know I am using Canson watercolor paper this is stuff that I buy at the local art shop it, uh, it is uncoated except for the sizing that they use for uh, watercolor which might be a gelatin based type um, light sizing coat on, on the paper. It seems to do a very good job on a 3800 using the matte setting. Of course I've made a profile for it. So now I'm going to show you how to load the paper that I have actually uh, cut to fit this printer because the sheets are uh, an inch too wide for the uh, capacity of this printer which is 17 inches. If there's any trick to this is being very gentle with the uh, approach. Now make sure that you have selected rear manual as the paper feed in your printer driver and you have adjusted the left guide to the width of the paper. So we're just going to insert it making sure that the right edge is writing against the guide on the right side and then we're just going to bring it down until the platen sensor senses that there is paper. And we're just going to hold it there. I'm not pressing down as you saw. It accepted it. Now I'm going to check below here and I'll give you a close up of this so that you know what I'm uh, talking about. This is where the sensors on the head are not going to read the edge of the paper. It is moving it back and forward slightly and it is reading where the edge is located and it's going to determine whether the paper is skewed in any way. If it is skewed in any way it will reject it. Period. So you must make sure that when you feed it you feed it evenly. Also if you're cutting your own sheets from roll it is very difficult to do this and get a perfect right angle and I do mean it has to be quite perfect. If you have a roto trim printer then it's not a problem at all but if you're doing it with a square you might be a little off and that will cause uh, a problem as the sensor on the head as it traverses across to measure the squareness of the edge will more than likely reject your load. Okay and this is what we're looking for as you see the edge under the platen is parallel and so as the printer measured it and detected it it accepted it because it is fed straight. Had it been a little bit skewed it would have rejected it and it would have had to reload the media and that's the secret you have to make sure you feed that perfectly straight. You have to make sure you do not press hard against that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try to demonstrate this once again. And I'm going to do this with one hand. And I want you to look down here in this area here. You will see the paper being fed in manually. I have gone ahead and ejected the paper. And I want you to take a close look. You will be able to see the paper being accepted. After I tell it to ignore the last feed. Okay, here we go. You see? I barely applied any pressure. 
now the head is reading as you see the paper is being fed back and forth and it's, it might actually be doing a slight lateral adjustment I really doubt that but I've heard that from some people that it actually does that so now it's ready to go all I have to do is go back to the computer now and hit print and make sure that you have the driver set to feed from the rear manual feed and that's it as you can see it's not that difficult and this is some real this is some pretty thick media it's about 300 gram media so and by the way it prints beautifully all right i hope that was of some help to you until next time happy printing bye bye